in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together today Charles and Amy in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signified unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and His church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with His presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. In this holy estate, these two people come now to be joined. Charles and Amy, I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, and before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith, each to the other. Be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate, as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage and will grant you fulfillment in it and will establish your home in peace. Charles, Will you have Amy to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her, as long as you both shall live? If so, you will answer, I will. Amy, will you have Charles to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him? Comfort him, I will. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Amen. Now, Charles, repeat after me. I, Charles, take the aim. I, Charles, take the aim. To be my way of life. To be my way of life. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this, day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for, better, for, worse. for richer for poor, for richer, for poor. In, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Till, death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance. and thereto, thereto I pledge thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. Amen. We'll see that today. I, Amy, take thee, Charles. I, Amy, take thee, Charles. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. To this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. May I have the wedding rings first. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and a spiritual grace signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, Charles, repeat after me. In token and pledge, in token and pledge of our constant faith, our constant faith and, abiding love, and abiding love, with this ring, with this ring I be with, I be with in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and, of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Now, Amy, repeat after me. In token and pledge, In token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith and, abiding love, and abiding love, with this ring, with this ring I thee with, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as Charles and Amy have consented together at holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and before this company, and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon Charles and Amy today, whom we bless in your name that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to your laws. Look graciously upon them, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Charles, you may kiss your bride. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life and in the world to come that you will have everlasting life. Amen. And now it is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Charles Gaiman. <laughs> We have to have the preacher in the pictures. You can walk. Finished. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all need to squish it in.
out between you. You're very close to Tony. Yeah. Okay, do it again. Closer. Daddy, you hold Cody. Where 
going? Huh? <laughs> Nowhere. Where are you going? <laughs> Oh yeah, walking around. He did walk, but it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. He at least he ain't eating no grass. <laughs> Let's not be constipated. No. <laughs> huh? We're supposed to leave, but we'll do it. We'll go for it.